School gives you lesson before they give you test. Life gives you test for you to have lesson. I want to minister to you a topic title Learn and Understand Timing. Minister to you that time is infinite, continual progress of existence, which is the period and process of past, present, and future. Why timing is the control of when things should be done. There is a time for everybody to finish whatever he is doing or he want to do. You need to choose time to do it. A man who understands timing knows when to do, knows when it should be done, knows the period to execute. But the man who refuses to understand timing are men who will never finish in time. They don't recover early. They don't wake up early. They don't finish early. They don't execute early. They don't fulfill early. Everything they don't finish early. Even the time they have lost, they cannot recover early. Even the time they have also missed, they cannot recover early. Am I talking to somebody? As long as you exist, there is a period for everything. There is a period to execute things. As a Christian, that you under my sound of my voice, you are hearing me now. As you are hearing me, it is time for you to start to time yourself. To begin to calculate that this is what I want to achieve now. This is what I have to get now. This is what I need to get now. This is what I need to put on the ground now. This is and so, so, so time with the time of the maturity of what I'm putting on the ground right now. Many people have failed and they are still failing because they don't understand timing. You can understand time, but you might not understand timing. They are not the same thing. From where we study, the Bible said in First Chronicles chapter 12, if you read verse 32, and he said there is a tribe called Isacha. He said because they understand time. Because they know when it is up for Israel to do. And the Bible said 200 of them were made commander. And they were made leaders. Because they understand time. They know when it should be done. They know when it must be done. They know when they need to execute. They operate as leaders in Israel. Because they understand what? Timing. They know season. They know what happened in every particular season. The problem why some people have not arrived, they don't know time. And they don't time themselves. Even some people that does not know understand timing don't know what they have achieved so so period of time, where they have faced so so period of time, what they are supposed to achieve so so period of time. You don't know timing, that is why you don't know where you are going to. Type your neighbor, say neighbor. It is time to understand timing. I call to minister to you. There is somebody, and there are some people who could not and who did not understand timing according to the Bible in the book of Genesis, chapter 27. There is a man called Jacob, and Jacob is a man who received blessing from his father according to Genesis 27, from 22 to verse 31. And God said, Isaac, bless him, and he went away the blessing of his father and he went away with the blessing of his brother Esau and he went away with the original destiny of his brother and he ran and the Bible said on his way going a man who saw God and ministered to angels that angels also ministered to that have fellowship with angels according to Genesis chapter 28 from verse 10 to 15 the Bible says as he was running that he tarried in a place
darkness and he slept and the heaven opened and there was a ladder that came down from heaven and the bible says angels were descending and ascended and the bible says he had an encounter with angels and god and when he woke up he said now i know that god is with me a man with that kind of discretion in chapter 29 and the bible said he met in the feet men with flocks and he met the children of labor who happens to be his uncle and the bible said a man who's supposed to go and serve to have capital a man who's supposed to serve his uncle so that the uncle will say to him the first thing you saw was a beautiful woman and he forgot about his original destiny and he started to serve for a beautiful woman he did not make agreement for his destiny he made an agreement with his uncle to serve his uncle for seven years to have the younger daughter he was serving for woman not for our grace that was the man that god bestowed the grace of this generation to and he used it to serve for woman and he was there for seven years he could not achieve any other thing than the woman that he seen and i come to speak to you after seven years they gave her another woman that he did not serve for and he was angry the man knew that he did not understand timing he did not know what to get first and what to get last and what to get next he didn't know what is up to that what he should do now and what he should do later he was not aware and the man understood and the man capitalized on his weakness of not understanding timing and the man gave him his first daughter Jacob did not end there. Look at the way we are going. That is where people are going in this Christian door. He did not understand timing. A man that was sent out to serve so that he can recover, so that he can give us grace, so he can get abundance, so that they can give him capital, so that he can establish his own. Serve seven years. After seven years, they gave him another thing. And he did not stop there. He said, if so be it, give me another seven years to serve to be for this same woman. And he continued to serve another seven years. He paused our destiny. He paused grace. He paused his generation for good 14 years. He was serving for woman. He was there for 14 years, serving for just one woman. Just one woman, not for business, not for a company, not for any block, but a woman for good 14 years. He was one place. And he served the man 14 years. In this 40 years was having children then the in-law was feeding him and he has nothing to himself and after 40 years that is when i realized that he's not a son of the man that he's an in-law and then i had to pray to god for god to give him knowledge and before god give him knowledge to acquire his own before he moved let me shock you that man with the spirit he left his father's house was supposed to go and serve his uncle and prosper and come back early so that Esau will know the difference between grace and labor but before before he came back, Esau was already a rich man because he used 14 years to suffer again. Forty years. The Bible says, children of his such were made commander. They give commandment. They were made leaders because they understand timing. Jacob did not understand that there are things that are priority and there are things that are not priorities. Jacob did not understand that he need to go and get his destiny first before looking for a woman. Jacob, our brother, our father, he that carried grace from Isaac, that grace was dropped on him. He also left with the original birthright of his elder brother. He left and went away with it. A man who have a counter with the descending and ascending of angels on a ladder, who have a talk and who have a discussion with God, who communicate with God, whom God called prophet, he spoke with God. When he woke up, he said, now I know God is with me. A man that knows that God is with, is with him. Get to the place of fulfillment. He start to serve for a woman. If you understand timing, my dear, you will be a commander, commander in chief of your destiny. You will be a leader of your destiny and you will lead people. You will lead men. You will lead people. People will emulate you when you understand timing. 